Hi everyone, I'm Erica Champion Wise, Elite Independent Consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. Welcome back for some more training. We are going to play a game today, or I'm going to teach you how to play a game. It's Balloon Pop. You can play this on your lives, and it is so much fun. If you don't laugh and snort, you're not doing it right. So, let me show you how to play it. Okay, so what do you need? Simple, simple stuff. Balloons, I got them from the dollar store. They're, this pack had 25, they're multicolor. You could probably get them on Amazon if you can't go shopping right now. Scissors, little pieces of paper, a notebook and pen, a box of jewelry, just random stuff, just put a box of jewelry in there. You can get one of these guys. I've used this one a few times. It's a little beat up. I'm going to have to get a new one. Oh man. And then your jewelry. This is your jewelry you're going to want for sale. So here's how it works. First thing, you can pre-sell your balloons. That's what I prefer to do so I know how many balloons to blow up. So I tell my customers, Sunday night, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, we are playing Balloon Pop. And I love it. So they all met, comment on that comment in my VIP group saying, I want four balloons, I want six balloons, I want seven balloons, I want 93 balloons. I don't care. They can have as many as they want. Each balloon is $5. Each balloon corresponds to a piece of jewelry. So remember, five bucks, okay? We have to charge $5, we can't charge less, right? So each balloon is $5. So they pre-buy their balloons. It makes it so much more simple for me. Um, in the past they have not, and I ran out of balloons. I ran out of balloons. Actually Sunday night I ran out of balloons because I didn't have enough. And that's a wonderful problem to have. Keep it coming. I will take them all. And so what I do is I write down a list. I got my list here of people, just, just random names and how many balloons they want to buy. Okay, and I just have my list here. Now, during the live, every single time, new customers pop on, old customers who forgot I sold jewelry pop on, and they say, hey, I want balloons too. So I just add to the list. That's why there's space down here. And I just write down, you know, Samantha wants four balloons, and Mary wants six balloons, and however many it is there, and I just add to the list. All right, so what the heck do we do with these balloons, right? So I got a balloon, and I got a little piece of paper. This is tiny. You can barely see it and it's smudged. But on the paper has a number. And I wrote out 261 numbers. This is a labor intensive but it's so much fun because I had 61 pieces I was going to show. I literally, look, these are my numbers. I just wrote the number on them. Don't make it complicated, okay? Don't make it complicated. I take the little piece of paper and fold it up, stuff it in the balloon. You have to do all this beforehand, okay? Blow it up, tie it off, and then I'll tape it to my board. I had so many, I had to have a, a bucket, so you can stick them in a bucket if you want to. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Now, time for the live, right? We got all our stuff together. It's time to go live. I got all my jewelry hanging up. Pretend it's full, okay? It's not full. Don't worry about it. All my jewelry is hanging up. It's time for the live and Sally is up first. Here's what I do to keep viewers on. I go up and down the list. This is actually my list I'll show you from Sunday night. I start at the top and I go to the bottom. I start at the top and I go to the bottom. So Dawn was first and she got four balloons. Well, we only did one at a time. So I went Dawn, Melissa, Tina, Stacy, Tania, Jen, and on down the list doing one balloon at a time. Once I got to the bottom, I started back over at the top. The reason I do that, they have to stay. They have to stay. You get viewers on your live. So Dawn got four balloons, but she had to wait all the way to the bottom to get balloon number two, and then she had to go all the way again to get balloon number three, and again to get balloon number four. It makes them stay on your live. You want to increase viewers? This is how you do it, and it's completely fair. And I tell them, I don't want, you know, I don't want to pop all your balloons at one time because that's no fun. So we're going to go down the list so we can all see what one another gets, right? So I'll start at the top, go to the bottom, one balloon at a time. So Sally is up first, and she might flip out for this. The dog's in here, so it might not, but thing over. I got my balloon, I got my scissors. I tried a pin, it didn't work. <laughs> you can probably get a push pin if you wanted to. I just got scissors 
and oh look and sometimes they do that sometimes you can pop them like that and just put a little hole in them and so we pop the balloon it's anticlimactic but it is what it is and you pull out the number and you say Sally your first balloon is number 236 let's see what piece it is you go over to your jewelry 236 did I put 236 up here all right Sally here you go this is number 236 and you show her the jewelry and you talk about it and you tell all the beautiful things about it Sally would you like to love or leave number 236 she'll think about it for a minute because there's a Facebook lag there and she'll either say yeah I want those or no I don't okay cool I'm gonna come back to those so write these things down if she says no I want to leave it I go to my leave it bucket it's just random assortment of jewelry. I just pull it off my shelves and here we go. In the leave it bucket, the rule is, if you pass one, you take whatever comes out of the bucket. You get the first one or you take whatever comes out of the bucket. You get a choice. And if she comes out of the leave it bucket, I'm like, all right, Sally, this one's yours. And I write her name on it and off she goes. Uh, I can show it to her if I want to. But I usually don't. I'm like, it's going to be a surprise. And I love it. I've never had a customer complain once. Now, let me tell you something more fun that I love to do. So these guys, 236, I actually had quite a few pair last night. This is my very last ones for these. And what I did was I showed it to Sally and she said, no, I don't really want those. So I would tell the rest of my customers watching, okay, guys, I got five pair of these left. If you want one, just comment 236. And I'm this is the last pair I got left. Okay, I sold four pair and Sally skipped hers. So you can also have multiples of things up selling, right? Selling more at one time and sell a whole bunch more at one time. So tell your other customers, just because it wasn't your balloon, you can still have these and you can upsell that way, okay? And that's really, really all there is to it. Um, I have been known to offer my customers tax-free if they will go ahead and pre-claim and then I'll go ahead and take care of them that way. Or you can do free shipping if they get so many or however, however you want to do it. Just be sure that the price is always $5. Make sure that the price is always $5. If you wanted to do sets, you could always do sets and tell them that the set will be $10. That's a lot more complicated. I like to stick with just $5. And so last night we played Balloon Pop. And according to my list, I had 30, how many did I say? Did I say 30? I had 32 balloons bought, but I ended up selling 80 pieces because of what I did. I told you, I had multiples of things, so I picked pieces that I knew were hot, I knew they would love, and I knew other customers would buy as well. And so this is just a fun, fun game, just to have a lot of fun. And you can tape them on, you can do whatever you want to with them. The hardest part of the game is when they actually pop like that, and then you have to go find the pink pieces. But there it is, and so we're now to Dawn. Dawn, this is your first balloon. Number 237 is going to be yours. And so I would go over here, 237. All right, Dawn, would you like to love it or leave it on 237? She says yes, she says no, and we go on from there. This is one of the most fun games that we get to play. We have so much fun. I always end up with a lot of balloon trash, but it is what it is. I hope this helps. Have fun. Make your lives a lot more fun. You'll have a lot more customers, and you will sell so much more jewelry. I'll see you later.